Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, there's a terrible glare on this book, but I will lift it up so that we can take a look at it. So this is Gothic Beauty by Deborah Muller, and the cover was done by our lovely Tiffany, and it's um, the um, admin in our Deborah Muller Facebook group. So um, this book has been out for a little while, not too long, but it is new to me. I just got it in the mail the other day. I was kind of late to the game publishing it. Um, Deborah does have quite a few new books getting ready to come out, especially ones that are geared toward Halloween, and I'm super psyched for those. So here is the title page, you know, uh, that it's the Gothic, well, not title, I guess it is a title page, Gothic Beauty. It's the the cover here, so you can color that. And here we have a nameplate, nameplate page. Very interesting. I love that Deborah now does a separate nameplate page for each book. Before, um, they all used to have the same one, and now she has different ones according to what the style of the book is, and I really enjoy that. I think it's a lot of fun and adds to the book. So this book is right up my alley. Um, I got really excited when I knew that it was coming out and saw the, um, the initial flip through of it just because I love um, beauty and I love gothic and I love the whole genre of gothic horror. It's right up my alley. It's my jam and I think it's fantastic. I would love the Hammer horror movies of the 60s and 70s and how beautiful and glamorous the women were, the victims and the vampires. You know, um, I love them all. And so this book totally puts me in mind of those movies and it's just like my favorite thing with the long flowing dresses and their hair and the choker to jewelry, like the choker necklaces and all the... Um, candelabra and just the I just love it I wish horror was so glamorous still but horror is not glamorous anymore like I love this one absolutely love it so I just this is my thing you know um last night we actually watched a movie called Crypt of the Living Dead I think and it was from it was a European movie horror movie from the 70s early I think the early 70s like 70 or 72 and it was about a vampire queen that had been um, confined to a tomb for uh, since 1279. And it was like in the 70s and they were getting ready to set her free. And she <laughs> she looked just like this, except for she didn't have a, a skull, a skull right here. But she looked like she's laying in her tomb with her crown and she's all beautiful with her red lipstick and her false eyelashes. And I'm just like, I love it. All that imagery just delights me it absolutely delights me so I know I'm talking a lot about what I like and not the book but I do like the book I think Deborah just does this so well you know she just really dials it up the right way I like this one this one reminds me of one of those like somebody that would have been in one of those traveling acting troops or something in the middle ages you know I'm very much looking forward to getting started in this one, but I need to color some Christmas in July first, and then I will get started on this. I like this one a lot. She's got this, I don't know if it's a griffin or exactly what it is, something. Here's this girl, and she just loves her little rat friend. <laughs> this one I really like. This one, to me, she's a bad guy. She's not a victim. She's a bad guy. So she's definitely got to be like some kind of evil, even though she doesn't have fangs. I'm thinking she's a vampire queen or some kind of witch. She's like conjuring up something and whatever. You don't want to be in her way because she's just got that look like, don't mess with me. You know, I'm going to release my hounds from hell upon you. <laughs> I 
Now this, she's the victim. She's probably the victim of the one that was just over there in the other page. I like this girl too. She's kind of kooky. This is a good one too. Va va voom. She's got her cleavage showing. She's got these birds. She's got one eye covered. I feel like she just rose from the grave because she's got skeleton hands. So she's in some kind of metamorphosis state where she's not all the way human and not all the way dead or something's going on. This one's really fun. The dress is fantastic in this one. This one's kind of, you know, wrapped up in gauze. Maybe kind of like a mummy or something. Here's another one. I'm not really sure. Is she good or is she bad? I don't know. Haven't decided. I can definitely see myself painting the background on this one, like over these little vines or thorns or whatever that is, and kind of doing some kind of aura around her, like a glow or something. This one makes me laugh because that bat is so funny looking on her head. I like the dress though. It's very interesting with the bow at the neck. I like that a lot. It's neat. Neat! And this one, she has fabulous hair. She definitely reminds me of the victim in one of the movies like, um, you know, Dracula would definitely have his eye on her. Or she reminds me of somebody that you would see in A Christmas Carol. Like the woman that um, Scrooge was in love with back when he was younger before he turned Scroogey. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. I have such an imagination, I know. And that is it. So that is the back of the book. And the front cover again for Gothic Beauty. And this book is available on Amazon and Deborah's Etsy store. You can purchase it as a book or as a PDF download. Um, in the description section, I will put links to where you can join our Deborah Muller Facebook group. And I will link Deborah's Instagram account as well as um, where to purchase this book on Amazon and her Etsy store. So thank you guys so much for watching. Question or comment below. And I will see you in the next video.